see what we got here. See what we got here. Coming up. Yeah, buddy. Nice party. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Next step. Let's stick that thing on. Look at that good, good food. Oh man. Oh, that smells bomb. It smells so good from here. Fish is all cut up, cleaned up. Oh. How's it, everybody? Down here with Lao Lao Lao, <laughs> and uh, we're not sure if it's Frappy Caniella or what yet, but oh. it's gonna—we're figuring out Caniella's name still for sure. But Lao 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 is pretty sick. <laughs> Down in uh, Kalua Kona, gonna go do some shore fishing with Brada Alex and um, one of his friends. I'm not quite sure who he's bringing. I think it's Mark, who's been in the other episode with us once before. So we're gonna go meet up with him right now. He's got a spot he wants to show us. We're gonna go try out. And uh, yeah, so hopefully it's gonna be a good night. We're gonna be trying to target some impachis and stuff tonight. connell has got a brand new headlamp. He's stoked about that. Oh, so that's how you open it. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe if we get some good fish, we're gonna have a nice little catch and cook action come tomorrow morning. Yee! Da -doosh. We made it to the shoreline where we swo <laughs> tubbies have already come in clutch and saved me. Where we stopped, there was apparently some crazy Pokemon. Oh, and then it didn't save Lao. Ow. Oh, you're right. <laughs> it is definitely Ow Ow. It's out Ow Lao. <laughs> this is a pretty prime zone. Little mini beach, bunch of random houses. <laughs> You whip in or dunking tonight? I'm gonna start whipping the pachis here pretty soon. Heck yeah. I'm gonna throw out this one, maybe with some bait. But I right think on. for now I'm gonna try and whip some pachis and see what's going on. Smart idea. So it's the first night that I got this rod repaired. Thanks again staff, Major Mahalos. The Eliminator Custom Surf Rod. Pretty sure it's Daiwa. This thing's sweet, super long, so I'm gonna set this up with a big dunking rig. Um, and then Lau's gonna have a nice little dunking rig. He's using the surf caster that I've been rocking for a while now. And Kaniel is gonna be running a little whipping rig where he's gonna start out with a little bobber just to test the waters out. <laughs> All right, Lau is set up. Simple dunking rig here. Uh -huh. I'm gonna show you how to cast. We're gonna cast it over in this direction. First thing, grab your pole with one hand. Here, take this line and hold it against the rod. This is gonna be like your trigger. And you're gonna to wanna to swing it back and you're gonna cast, and when it's basically at, it's like a 45 degree angle, you let go with this finger, and it'll fly away. Just like that. Okay, and then you let it sit for a second because we want that lead to get down there and stuck on something. Mm -hmm. You reel it in really slow until you start feeling a little bit of tension, like just like that. Okay, now hold it. And you want your main hand to grab it like that. Like that? Yeah. And you can just prop it against your leg like that. And then you can kind of reel it in a little bit. Like reel it in, you'll feel it kind of slowly reel. You'll feel the lead like bouncing off stuff, but kind of being stuck there. Mm -hmm. And then once it's, you feel that tension just a little bit, you just that's what you want. You just want to let it sit there. And now you're just going to wait for a fish to come and whack in. You'll feel like a couple like pa pa pa, And then you just hit it a little tug, mm -hmm. and it'll set the hook. And then you're running. All right. That's good. OK, I'm going to go get mine set out. We got a little bit of rain coming in, small kind of drizzles. That's okay though, not too worried about it. I'm gonna send out my dunking rod 
over on the other side here. Full piece of squid on it. Just like that. Nice cruising squid. Now I can go and cast this out. Set up my rod holder, put my bell on, then whip. It is starting to legitly, legitimately rain, guys. Send us some positive vibes. Some dry positive vibes. The whole thing's gone. Oh, what happened? I don't know. I'm guessing a rock. Did you yeah. try bringing it in? And it was just... Yeah, you got stuck out there. Uh, did something hit it? Um, no. You just gotta let it sit there forever, dude. Yeah. Caniello just got the first catch of the That's night. Mean. Oh, Huge okay. <laughs> minpachi. That's a meme look. That's a bro. I don't know if I've ever seen one this big. It's mad. <laughs> that is so cute, dude. That thing. Uh, look, that thing looks so surprised. Like, what am yeah, I doing put that guy here? back. He's. Oh boy. He's the he's most little maneener. He's hurting this guy. <laughs> nice catch, though, dude. Oh, thanks. Now we know minpachis are out there, man. See you, buddy. Right on, dude. First catch of the night. All right, Lau's back out. I changed my batteries. I'm putting on a grub, and then I'm gonna whip a bit. There's some noise coming from the Lau bangers. Let's go check it out. You caught one? Got one. No way. Yeah. Yeah, Lau caught a fish. I just reeled it in because I'm like, why not? <laughs> Let's see what you got. This is a uh, upupalu, uh -huh. um, otherwise known as a stink fish. You got a perfect hook set on it, right through the lip. <laughs> nice, dude. Yeah, I just followed Kanyola's advice. I was like, feel, I think it's a tug pulley. And you got your lead back, dude. That's <laughs> a perfect, <laughs> that is perfect. Did you cast it out too? Yeah. Yeah, Lau. Yeah. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> First fish in Hawaii, dog. What the is going on over here, dude? <laughs> I double the chance. <laughs> <laughs> when did you do that? I don't know. Dude, you didn't break it off the first time. <laughs> Where did I come from then? Dude, oh my god, dude. <laughs> I know what happened. Your lead came off and you thought it was the end of your line. Yeah, I guess so. That's so funny. Lau's got the double rig. <laughs> I don't even know where the lead went. Yeah, it's down there the somewhere. Well, I mean, you can either use both of those rigs or cut one off. Up to you. <laughs> Too much work for the, other, for the other option. I need to change my line out on this. It's super hammers. Oh, the rain is back. Not prime. Just nailed another one. Second one of the night, boy. It's a double, it's a double hook. I think. Using his crazy double rig, patented <laughs> Laos double dangle wriggle. <laughs> nice, dude. Another little stink fish. Upupalu. The rain is slamming us, dude. Got him off. Nice job. Yeah, la. <laughs> All right, guys. Got my first fish on for the night. Feels like an okay size of Mipashi, maybe. Let's see what we got here. See what we got here. Coming up. Yeah, buddy. Nice Pachi. Yeah. Got a Pach. Uh, it's kind of small. Oh, you should have seen the one that I got, dude. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little bit too small. I'm putting it back. Thanks for the scrap, though, Pachi. Be free. Oh, and the rain is letting up. Thank you, Ja. Stoked. All right, on the board, guys. Check out what Caniella found in the belly of this squid. It's a crab arm. Bring it up close to the camera. Weird, dude. <laughs> There's a whole crab arm inside of it. I was like, what's this really hard, crunchy thing? <laughs> it's so weird. All right, all rigged up. Once again, had to change out my grub, change some batteries. I'm gonna head over here to the left side a little bit. See if I can't work this ledge. It's very shallow over there. I already got hooked up once, twice on the rocks. I wanted to keep my retrieval rate pretty high. Yeah, this spot is a uh, kind of dangs. Dangle style. 
I'm gonna go back to the other side. Another fish, what we got? Stink, no, oh, it's a little potty. That's the size I've been catching. That's a bigger than the one I've been catching. Little mini potch. Baby oh. potchies are out right now. Not quite big enough indeed. Well, better than no poshies. <laughs> what you got going on? I caught three of those. I caught one decent size. It was almost big enough to keep, maybe like that big. Yeah. And then I'm everything excited. else are just little minis ones. I'm just looking for the bomb sizes. Yeah. Gonna blast me with a UV. Oh. Thanks, dude. Little Aama going out. Are oh, you caught something? Oh, po o pa Nighttime po o pa That's a dozing one too, dude. I'm gonna keep them. Gonna keep them? I eat the bugs. Right on. Yeah, it's supposed to be real good to eat. They are supposed to be really tasty. That's a solid one too. Alright, Dajin, we're gonna eat you up, boss. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that oh, that's the biggest one I've ever found. That's a pretty fat one, dude. No lie. A nice little po'o pa right there. Yeah. I do say so myself. Right on. Yeah. What you got, little pochi? The small ones are coming out hard tonight. Dude, I have a gnat that flew right into my ear, and he's like trapped in there. It's so bad. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> it's so horrible. Okay, I switched over to a dunking rig on my huge long pole. Thanks again, staff, for fixing this up for me. I'm gonna send this out. I got a uh, squid head and tentacles on the end of my dunking rig. One and a half ounce lead. I don't have any bigger ones left. I'm just gonna cast this out of the point. Kind of all of them have been using because they told me it is gnat free. So I won't be getting gnats in my ears, thankfully, hopefully. Let's see what happens over here. Cast is out there. I have a feeling that my uh, squid fell off. I really hope not. I'm gonna go check it out. Bringing it back. Pretty sure it fell off. It sure did. Son of a bitch. This is now gonna be my third time casting my dunking rig because I lost the two last pieces of squid. So stoked. Yeah. Uh, I keep blowing it on my cast. Wow, there went my. Wait. Oh my lord. This is just not working out. Sick on that cast. My weight flew away. What is this, my fifth cast or something? I still haven't managed to get it out there with something flying off. Wow, good job, me. I casted. Alex just caught me a sick rock hopper. Put it out on the dunk right there. Kaniel and I are switching back to whipping because the waves have just started to calm down a little bit. They're not quite as nuts. It seems like the water's calming out. So hopefully that means the mipachis are going to be coming out of their hole a little bit more, not just getting pounded by the surges. We got one nice pachi in the cooler ready, so we have at least something to eat tomorrow. And then uh, hopefully we'll catch a few more and we'll have an actual meal going. All right, I've changed my game plan up again. I put on a golf ball, two eyes in it, little snap silver up here so it doesn't get all tangleized. An AH hook so when I'm reeling it in slow it doesn't get stuck on the rocks it'll just keep bouncing off preferably. And I'm gonna put one of these glow grubs on and then I'll reel it in really slow. Let's see if I can't hook up on any potties that might want to get devoured. Golf ball rig going out. Kaniela just hooked up on something. What's that? Oh, that's an Ollie Ihi. You should put your gloves on for this. They have a spike on the side of their mouth there that's poisonous and will be stingy if you get hit by it. Damn. Nice Ollie Ihi though. To the gloves. To the gloves. Something just gave my dunk rod a little baby tap. Got that life bait on there still. No hookups, so I'm just gonna let it cruise longer. Hey guys. Got hooked up here on the golf ball rig. Feels like it's actual fish. Maybe a nice size mimpachi. A veo veo or something. Oh, I see it. it's coming in. 
Coming in. It's definitely bigger than the last one I got. Let's see what it got here. Soup. Yeah, boy. Decent sized Mimpachi right there. Got a potch. Ow, it's a little fin stabbed me. That was sick. Nice little Pachi right here. This one's crying. Thank you, Pachi. Now we got some Pachi. Yeah. Alright, that's two Pachis down. Get two or three more and we're totally set for a meal. We're already pretty set, I guess, technically, but it'd be nice to have more, more fish per bite. Oh, check out this fly. Someone's been down here whipping. Put that on the side. Oh, I got another nice something on. Oh, I think it just popped off. Definitely popped off. That sucks. Hurt them. Oh, it's a Vana. I can see the spikes. Oh, gnarly. I had one stuck on top of my grub, dude. You can see the spikes embedded in there. Gnarly. That's pretty funny. I had a Vaughn on. I think connie has got a little something, something on right now. Oh, baby fish. Yeah, little yeah. Meninster. Eleven's <laughs> baby. She got Ukupalu. <laughs> yeah. connie has got a nice fish on right now. First cast on the glow grub he just sent out. The real mine's in so I can see. Get in here. Oh, he's bringing it in. Oh, tighten your drag. Uh, oh no, Aina. Uh, oh no, it's still... Wait. I can feel it. Play with it. It'll come back off. That was definitely Give something. it some slack. Give it some slack and it'll, it might unwrap itself. Get it real loose, like tons of line. So it doesn't even notice that there's line on it anymore. Then it might come back out when it makes it safe. Yeah, like that. Just give it a second. Let's see. So at first it definitely wasn't a rock because it went. That yeah, way. I saw that. It was definitely changing directions. Oh, yeah, I can feel it still on there, dude. It looks like it's moving. Yeah. I think he dove a rock or something, maybe. I think it dove a rock. Oh, freaking punk fish. Right on. Oh man. Yeah, you feel overnight. Nah, we'll be here for a little while more. Maybe like 30 minutes. Connell just had a fat hit. Yeah. We're we'll probably got another 30 minutes tops. Thanks yeah. for showing us the spot, dude. Yeah, that is oh. surgy today. Yeah, it is a little. Mompachis are all hiding. Connell just had a fat crack though. Well, it was fun. We'll do it again soon, dude. Next time we learned. If it's surgy over here, go to a different spot. All right, nice seeing you guys again. Let me know your next day off. Shoots. What happened? It took the hook. Oh. Like it ripped it off. It did. Damn, dude, you had something dozing on. Maybe a meal? <laughs> no, dude, it's probably a little papilla or something. Eels don't really scrap. Uh. Fish on, everyone. See what we got coming in. Hopefully it's one more nice pochi and we can all have one pochi. <laughs> I think it is a little posh. Yeah, I think we got it. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Soup, it's a little teeny pochi. <laughs> little meninster pochi. Oh, okay, come on brother, come on. Stop, ow, you got sharp little nuggets on your side, don't you? There we go. Barbless hooks, everybody. Easy to get off. See ya. The AH hook's working well for me and I'm retrieving this super slowly. I just found a pristine slide bait swivel. Not so pristine hook, but it's pretty dope little rig right here. Little freebie, stoked. Lau and I both have an ama crab on right now. We just found these little tide pools right here. Oh, there's another one cruising around. Maybe we'll put that one on too. <laughs> Finally, we're finding some. Let's see if anything's hungry for some Aamas. Look, there's Aama crab. Aama crab R right here. Yeah, just like the other episode, just nomming on our bait. <laughs> what a guy. 
You gotta cast this out a couple times while I uh, clean up. A little glow grub. Gonna bring in my dunking rod. Kaniel is getting the final whips in. See if he can't nail something while I'm cleaning up. And then we are hele my time. You got a fish? A oh, little teeny upa <laughs> Pretty big upa Yeah, it's a pretty big upa actually. For upa palu status, heck yeah it is. These were like my favorite eating. Yeah? Yeah, because how you know, my ass hand you guys did it? Or uh, you just take the head and guts out and deep fry them. Oh and man. Eat the entire, like, Everything? Fry. That's pretty dank. Are you like, keeping this? Yeah, I was going to eat it. Okay, let's do it. I'm going to do a one speed scrap of line cleanup. Oh, another one! There we go. Yeah! <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that in there, but this guy has a crab in his throat. That's pretty cool. Now there's one more nice Minpachi. I'm gonna do a quick line cleanup. All this scrap that I've been seeing laying around. Another fly. That's two flies I found over here. People love flying. It's pretty hammers. Throw that one away. Hey, here's the other. Oh, somebody else's freaking citizen snips, dude. <laughs> Bro, I'm finding all kinds of weird stuff. Not all the trash. Looks like it, dude. This is pretty strange, guys. This limu over here, limu over here is like, some of it's all white, like ghost white, and then the rest of it's green. That's strange, I've never seen it like that. I wonder what that's all about. Okay, we just police this area. Got most of the trash. Ow, I stepped right into a hole, my foot hurt. Oh, one more piece of line right here. All right, we're on our way out. Head back home, clean these fish in the morning because I forgot my knife. And then grind, little lunch session. How's it everybody? It's morning time. We got the uh, grill that I mentioned last night, my mom purchasing that we're gonna now construct. So we're pulling it all apart. Kind of just looking for where the instructions are really. Is this thing upside down? Oh my God, this is thing in like 80 pieces too. Step one is to assemble the legs. These look like the legs. And you put the wheels in them. Why is this all in Spanish? Okay, we need axle bolts. That looks like an axle bolt. There's only two of them, it's gotta be the axle bolts. And then we need the axle washers. And we want the legs on the outside of the little wow. So like that, I guess. Are we using 3 8 inch mainly? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna get a screwdriver and a 3 8 socket wrench. That's not 3 8 What size is it then? Looks like it's a half. Okay, to the manufacturers that made this, bra, this is called 9 16 not 3 8 uh, okay, here you go. The one with the logo goes in the front. Which is not the legs. Okay. Okay, so the legs gets the back part. Yeah. Is there like another pair of these that we're putting these in the wrong spot? I think we got these legs mixed up. Maybe. It's saying that the left is on this side here. <laughs> okay. Next step. Let's stick that thing on. We did it. We put on one legging. Oh, yay. Victory! The 10 through 24 3 8 machine screw, which oh, means nothing it. at all. Basically, no, it's, no. you just so figure it out. It, so you just pick some like screws. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's these guys. These tiny ones? Yeah, they look tiny. Alright. Uh, there's four. Four. Next thing is the side wing panelings, which we will need a whole mixture of washers <clears throat> and nuts for. This guy, this guy's already pre-attached. Oh, this guy's already there? Yeah. There you go. Let's plug it in. No. Yeah, right? <laughs> I just want to see it on now. I want to see it on as well. Let's do that. Make sure it actually works. <laughs> and with this... Oh! We have light. Crank it. Crank it. See who it's hot. That's the best idea I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> There's a fly on there, we can just wait until it cooks. We're done, people. Getting the final 
burn off of all these weird chemicals, which are, I probably shouldn't be standing so close to. All right, just went to the store, picked up a bunch of ingredients. We're making some kebabs to go along with the fish, which I have to go outside and clean right now. Caniel is taking over. We've got some garlic. We've got some two different kinds of mushrooms, a bunch of different peppers, some uh, steak, and it's got olive oil with some salt and pepper. So it's going to be pretty good. I'm going to go outside and see how Sue's doing soldering and clean some fish. Yeah. Speaking of which, I got to get my knife. Sue's out here hooking it up. We mentioned that we uh, are starting some airsoft stuff back up and our gun is in desperate need of a little bit of wiring love. So Sue, who's basically the island's best solderer, <laughs> is jumping on board and gonna help me out by soldering my bean plugs back on, making my gun beautiful again. Yee! Yeah. I'm gonna go clean some fish. Daniel's little Upapalu. So funny. Never seen one of these eat him before, so it'll be interesting to see how he says it tastes. How's it guys? We're gonna start cooking. Just made our kebabs right here. The grill's nice and fired up. Look at that good, good food. Oh man, oh, that smells bomb. Smells so good from here. Fish is all cut up, cleaned up. Gonna wrap them all at one speed, get them ready to go. We're stoked. Lao's being a master solderer, almost done over here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah guys. Okay, so the electric grill that my mom bought is a definitely cooking this up tasty. Wish you could smell it. This smells unreal. Oh. Oh, those noises are good. These ones are slow cooking up here. Ooh. Oh, that juices, man. Keeps it really juicy. Nice. Yeah, buddy. We have created the most epic Jimmy rigging vice system <laughs> ever. People would pay like 40 bucks. <laughs> right, for real. Daniel is taking the final step. He's opened up the fish a little bit to let any juices come out so we can get a little bit more crispiness on there. That's gonna be tasty. Got an epic solder right there. Beautiful connection. First kebab, trying out right now. Oh. Mmm. Yep. Winner. Okay, I don't have any qualms with this electric grill. It's pretty good. <laughs> Yeah, all the natural flavors are more pronounced and less of the smoky taste. Those fishies are done. Gotta get some chopsticks and pound them. Yeah, man. Hey, all right. <clears throat> Time for the first sample of the pachi. Watch out for the bones. It is tasty AF. Yeah, the pal is pretty good too. 
Mmm. Wanna try your little Upapalu. Hmm. Those aren't bad. They're actually really good. Yeah. Huh. You just like the 14 I caught would have made a decent meal. You just fry them all? Yeah, like deep fry them. Because all the little bones here, mm -hmm. like look, they're already like breaking. Mm -hmm. Like they become them. like potato chips when you yeah. fry them thoroughly. Let's do that sometime. Yep. Winner, dude. Want me to strap it? Hmm? Uh, it's strapping it. And I can hold the wire instead. Try to make it touch the red wall. Up against it? Yeah. Final well, thing of the day, we're gonna test out <laughs> Lau's soldering. See if it works now. Yes, like it's, it's just working. <laughs> I'm ready to go fight Bo. <laughs> that works way better than it did before. <laughs> yes, yes, works. yes it does. There's a spring under there that rolls forward and it feeds the BBs. Okay. So as long as that's tight, it'll uh, keep feeding so BBs. Much. Yeah. Yeah, it works way better, dude. Thanks, Lau. Yee! <laughs> now we can go get some scraps on with Bo and James. There you go. So stoked that it works again. For your expert. <laughs> oh, Bo's gonna be so hurt in my blast now. <laughs> I'm stoked. All right, everybody, meal was good. Airsoft guns are all working again. Super stoked on that. So we're gonna get some sweet games coming in here pretty soon. But yeah, other than that, see you next time. Oh. <laughs>